Welcome to Ohio Wine TV. I'm your host, David McCrary, and today we hit the central region of Ohio, and we start our tour in Mount Victory. Now, Mount Victory is known for its antiques and its antique shops. They're everywhere. Now, we're about 40 minutes northwest of Columbus, and you wouldn't think of this as wine country, but it came about this close to becoming known as the champagne capital of the world. We head to Ravenhurst Champagne Cellar right now to find out why. We are at Ravenhurst Champagne Cellars, and I'm sitting here with owners Chuck Harris and Nina Bush. Guys, tell me what makes Ravenhurst so unique. It was never our intention to make the most wine in Ohio, just the best. And to make the best wine, of course, you needed to grow the best grapes. We thought it was ridiculous to have an Ohio winery and haul in your grapes from some other state, like New York, Pennsylvania, or even California. If we wanted to make California wines, we would have bought a winery in California. We were actually excited about working with the grapes that grow in the heavy clay soils of central Ohio. Okay. Well, now let's talk about these wines. Better yet, let's talk about this uh, award-winning champagne, one of the best in the world. In 1999, there was a competition held in L.A. called Champagne of the Millennium. We won our division, which is Brut Sauvage, which put us in the finals. In the finals, it was nine French guys and nine and I. When the dust settles, we're in second place. Really? And this is the award winner? Indeed. That's, that is, that is great. If you had to sum up Ravenhurst Champagne Cellars in one sentence, what would that be? Award winning winemakers dedicated to the production of Method Champenoise. Okay, well Ravenhurst, what you see is what you get. No deck overlooking the lake, no restaurant, no gift shop, just great wine and great champagne. Thanks guys. Um, this is going with me. We are in Olentangy Indian Caverns. This place is incredible. It, look, it doesn't even look real. It looks like Disney World. A great place to be. Frontierland, you've got miniature golf. Just a great place to bring the family, maybe have a picnic. Uh, and the other cool thing is here in Delaware, we're like 10 minutes from PAL, which is where Columbus Zoo, uh, Zumbezi Bay Water Park, they're located there and our next winery. We're talking Sonia Vineyard. Let's go there now. If I can find my way out of this place, this is incredible. Welcome to Soiny Vineyards in Powell. I'm standing with owner Eric Saney. Eric, Soiny, Saney, what's going on with that? Well, Saney is actually my last name and the name of the vineyard is Soiny. And it's Finnish in derivation on oh, my dad's side. <laughs> And my dad's side of the family, um, they, my great grandfather was originally from Finland, and so we've decided to name the vineyard and winery after the old European pronunciation and okay. spelling. Well, you want to show us a couple wines? I do, I do. Uh, the first one off I, I like to describe is what's called a Traminet. It's a very cold, hearty grape and uh, makes an excellent wine. It, the original derivation or the um, the parent grape, let's say, of this grape is a Gewürztraminer that again is grown in in Germany. So it's it's a very nice wine, but the the one I'd really like to focus on and to have you try is what's called a Vidal Blanc. Mm -hmm. And a Vidal Blanc, uh, this style is made into a semi-sweet style wine. And again, it's a very cold hardy grape that grows very well in this climate. It has some nice apricot and honey flavors to it. I think you'll like it. Well, here's to uh, sweet wine. Cheers. Love it. Oh, that is awesome turn into the hillbilly. That's awesome! I love my sweet wine. That's fantastic. Great, I'm glad um, you enjoy it. We want to run out and take a look at your vineyards where you grow, actually where you grow the Traminette. That's right. I'm going to head out there now. Thank you very much. All right, well, thank you. Me, that's fantastic. Okay. Soiny Vineyard sits on three and a half acres. They've got 10 variety of wines and 2,000 vines. Do yourself a favor. Escape. Escape from Columbus. Escape from your hectic day. Get up here and say hey to Eric try his great Ohio wine. We are in Columbus, Ohio. I'm at Kosai. All kinds of great stuff to see here. I've been, I've been here many times with the kid. Uh, we're also nearby Huntington Field, home of the Columbus Clippers. We are near the State House, uh, Nationwide Arena, where the Blue Jackets play. This is a great place to be. And we're just right down the road from Wyandotte Winery. I'm lifting a car. I don't think it's fun. Anyways, right down the road from Wyandotte Winery. So uh, let's go there now.
So Valerie, tell me what is your passion here at Wyandotte Winery? Well, Robin and I uh, take great pleasure in handcrafting a wide variety of wines, something that is good for everyone's palate. Okay. And this, I really like this. What is, what do we have here? This is our ice house and it is a Gewürztraminer grape. Uh, Gewürz in German means spice and Terminer is a kind of grape. Goes great with Asian food, uh, anything Hunan, Szechuan, Thai. I really like, it's kind of sweet. It's and delicious, I yeah. Like we, we did just get a silver medal on this. Really? Well, yes. congratulations. Thank you. Um, now, besides just wine tasting, which from experiencing this would be a great thing here at Wine Dot Winery, uh, what else can people come to expect when they come out here? One of the things that we really spend a lot of time doing is um, entertaining our guests with special events. Okay. Tonight being Wednesday, we're having Wine Dot Wednesdays, which is our happy hour with complimentary food and sangria and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night we have a group called Women Who Wine, and we have special speakers come in. That's once a month. We have a book club called the Well Read Book Club. Uh -huh. uh, we also do winery barbecues, and we make gourmet wine cakes. So all this right. is something kind of unique. That is great. We have not heard of those before. So yeah, a lot of a lot of things to uh, check out here at Wine Dot. Any day of the week, it sounds like, would be a great time to come out here, check out wine. If you got a certain taste, you can get it here at Wine Dot Winery. Thanks, Jonathan. This is a bull shake. You see excitement on my face? I've got buddies who have told me about this bull shake before. We are in Yellow Springs uh, at Young's Jersey Dairy. I am so excited about this. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. Outside we've got a miniature golf, we've got a driving range. Uh, interesting fact, not only do they make these bull shakes that I've heard so much about, the cheese that is made here is sent to, at least some of it, is sent to Brandeberry Winery. That happens to be where we're going next. Uh, so let's head there now. I'm going, oh. We're going to eat this, and then we're going to go to Brandeberry. This is incredible. I'm sitting here with Jim Brandeberry, little old winemaker. He says it on his name tag and his lovely wife Sharon uh, here at Brandeberry Winery. You poured me a, a blueberry, a blackberry. I'm sorry, blackberry, and it's. Uh, it's uh, I haven't tasted this yet. I'm excited. See, I'm a sweet wine guy. That is incredible. That is very good. I I see why that's uh, so popular. Um, so uh, tell me, how long have you guys been around as far as the winery here? How long have you been doing this? We opened June 4th a year ago. And sales have been unbelievable the whole first year. About 60% of our sales is sweet wines, but uh, we make some very good dry wines, both red and white. And I personally prefer dry wines, so I work hard to make good dry wines, but then I have to make sweet wines, and my wife is ideally suited for helping me that because she prefers sweet wines. And people coming out, hanging out on Saturdays for live music? Yes, we have live music every every Saturday during the summer. People seem to really enjoy sitting out in the country here on the mm -hmm. patio uh, in the evening and listening to music. You know, sitting out here really is, it's like a little slice of paradise. It's just quiet, you hear the birds, I just, I really like it here. And of course, that coupled with the bike trail that's nearby, you've got all kinds of state parks and nature preserves. This is just a place to get away, uh, much like we did all day today. We got away, we, we went to the Indian Caves, we went to Kosai, Young's Dairy Farm, and just had a blast. And of course, we hit four great, great wineries. I just had a fantastic time. I hope you had a fantastic time. Here's to you, the great Ohio wine.